Request for purchase. Let us understand this feature and its uses in paid puja inventory. To begin, you'll have to log out to your owner's dashboard and then go to inventory. Under purchase, request for purchase feature will be displayed. Once you click on it, a screen like so will be visible. Here you can filter out your last request for purchases by filters of date, the supplier type, request numbers, payment status and the status of your request. Currently we don't have any of the requests lined with us. As I went into my history, there are few requests which pop up like this. Now there are multiple columns with different headings. Let us see all those headings first. The first heading is for to, which means to which particular restaurant or kitchen or supplier have we generated the request. The second is for the date of request. The third is the purchase order request number. The fourth column is of the total amount of the request for purchase. The next column is for the payment made against the purchase order. The third last column is for created by which contains all the details of the user and the dates of creation and modification. Next is the status of the PO. And then all the actions for the same are displayed. Now here as you can see these POs are identified as processed. Here is identified as a saved. Essentially if a purchase order is converted into a bill it will display in this particular format and the action buttons for the same will also be different. Here the action buttons include view which means that a PDF for your purchase order will be generated like so. The second action button is for emailing the same PDF to another user. The third button is for viewing the logs of the purchase order request. What are the action items acted inside the purchase order and by which user? The fourth is for cancelling the request. Let us see how to add a request for purchase in paid puja inventory. Now there's an important notification for the same. In paid puja inventory, we allow you to purchase from three types of suppliers. The first one being third party suppliers, which can be your vendor or the companies from which you procure your raw materials. The second is central kitchen, which means you have a go down for your brand or a space where all the raw materials are processed, collected and distributed batch wise to the respective outlets. And the third is outlet to outlet transfer. Now request for purchase option is only available for central kitchen and outlet to outlet transfer because a request placed from here will directly go to that outlet's point of sale system or their owner's dashboard from which they can accept or reject these requests. Let us select the central kitchen. The date is auto-populated. The category of raw materials you want to order. In case you don't want to do that, there is a list of raw materials which you can download and see what are the present raw materials in the system. The second button is for importing raw materials in case you wish to. Let us select the category first. You can select multiple categories like so or select one category as per your liking. If you select no categories then all the categories will be displayed in the raw material details section. The terms of payment can be mentioned here. The terms of delivery can be mentioned here. The payment type for the request should be mentioned here whether it is paid or unpaid. And if paid, what was the mode of payment and what was the date of payment? There's a check mark for editable. Whether you want this request to be editable by any other senior authority or do you want to log the request? You can check this as per your need. Now we arrive at the section of filling in the information for generating a request. I've selected my particular raw material. The existing stock of the same will be displayed here. The quantity that I want to request can be mentioned here. If any default price is associated with the item, it will auto-populate here. The amount is auto-populated and the description box can note 
your description for the same raw material. If you want to clear all, you can click here. If you want to set this as your favorite, you can set it as your favorite here. Rest action buttons are to ease down your process. In case of deleting, you can also delete it from here or from here. As soon as I click on save changes, the request will be generated and a status like this will be visible. Which means that the request has been sent and now the approval for the same is pending. There are two parties which can approve this. In case you set up a higher senior authority which will approve all the purchase orders from the outlet, this party can approve it. My current user is a senior party which can approve the purchase order like so and the status will be converted to saved. If you want this to go to the other outlet and you want the other outlet to accept this, that is also possible. Once approved, the status will change and a request like so will be visible. If you want to export all these requests, you can click on export all and generate an excel file which will look like this. If you want to change the settings of the format, you can change it from here. So this was about requesting a purchase in paid puja event. Thank you.